When two beluga whales were captured and held captive in a giant aquarium, many believed that they would die without tasting freedom ever again. But thankfully, they were rescued and released, and the way they reacted will leave you with tears in your eyes. Beluga whales are most known for their all-white coloration and bulbous noses. They are also one of the most vocal and friendly whales out there, and enjoy being with others of their kind and swimming freely. But one day, two whale calves were captured and scooped from the water, separated from the rest of their pool. They were put on a boat and into a small, shallow tank of water, where the pair of whales tried to swim, only to be met with glass walls on all sides of them. The poor whales were terrified, not only because they were in such a strange and alien environment, but also because they had been separated from their mother and the rest of their kind. The whales were transported to a sea life center, where they were placed into a large aquarium-like tank and put on display for the public. While the tank was never going to be any match for the wide open ocean, it was still a considerable size for the relatively tiny infant whales. But as the years passed and the whales started to grow and expand into their adult form, that aquarium tank soon started to become incredibly small. The whales, who had been named Little White and Little Grey, spent all of their time swimming in small circles, being watched by masses of people who were paying to see them in this unnatural and cruel environment. They would swim absent-mindedly around with nothing to hold their attention, interest them, or stimulate them. It was essentially a kind of prison for the belugas, one in which people would come and stare at them. Every now and then, Little White and Little Grey would try to interact with the people that had come to the Sea Life Center. They would swim up to the glass and press their noses against it in order to make the audience laugh and smile. They even blew bubbles from their mouths and played games with them as they floated to the surface of the water. It was just a little bit of stimulation in a place that was desperately lonely and ill-equipped for these two large, beautiful beluga whales. Eventually, the company decided that they needed more from Little White and Little Grey, and they started training them to do tricks and perform for the crowd. The playful whales had been trapped in the aquarium waters for several years by that point, and were grateful for the stimulation and interaction, and as such they quickly picked up the new skills. It allowed them to forget about how lonely and sad they really were, and how much they longed to be back out in the ocean with the rest of their kind. Every day, Little White and Little Grey would perform three or four shows, showing off the tricks they had learned and entertaining the paying customers. People would come from far and wide to see the two performing beluga whales, clapping, cheering, and taking photos and videos. But those people were totally unaware of the longing in the whale's eyes for the freedom they once had. For nearly seven more years this went on, with the whales performing and swimming around in their unnaturally small tank. They eventually started to show signs of depression and madness brought on by the lack of stimulation and being able to be with other beluga whales. It's safe to say that to the trained eye, Little White and Little Grey were not in a good place at all, and they wouldn't be able to carry on for too long. Surely, they were going to die in this cruel captivity. But there were those that noticed the telltale signs of depression in them and wished to save the belugas. Word of their plight reached caring souls who recognized that their happiness should not be overshadowed by mere human entertainment. It was a terrible thing to exploit two beautiful whales just to make money. These caring individuals fought tirelessly for the release of Little White and Little Grey, convinced that their rightful place was back in the open waters. But of course, despite their noble and caring intentions, it wasn't an easy task. Firstly, the Sea Life Center was very unwilling to let go of the beluga whales, as they were one of the star attractions of the place. They made legal challenges to prevent Little White and Little Grey from being removed from the tank and taken from them, and for a long, long time, the whole thing was dragged through a lengthy, boring, and expensive court battle. But those caring people didn't give up. The whales deserved more than what they had. Finally, though, after years of negotiations and dedicated efforts, a decision was made. And thankfully, it was one that would greatly benefit poor Little White and Little Grey. The two captive beluga whales were finally granted their long-awaited freedom, as the aquarium company begrudgingly agreed to release them into a secluded sanctuary that resembled their natural habitat. 
It wasn't complete freedom, but it was the next best thing. Unfortunately, Little White and Little Grey had spent far too much of their life in captivity to be released back into the real, wide open ocean. It had been ten years since they had swum freely, and sadly, they lacked many skills that they would have picked up as they went through life in the wild. So in order to keep an eye on them, Little White and Little Grey would be kept in a semi-wild area in Iceland, a sanctuary for sea life that had been kept in captivity. At last, the big day came. Two large trucks arrived at the Sea Life Center to transport the two whales away. It would be a long journey, and Little White and Little Grey would need constant monitoring and attention if they were to survive it. They were placed in specially designed tanks on the truck beds and taken to an airport, where they were flown for several hours to Iceland. The plane landed and the belugas departed, ready for the final stretch of their journey to the sanctuary. They were almost there. Arriving at the sanctuary, both Little White and Little Grey peered from their tanks at the waters. While there were boundaries to the sanctuary, it was an incredibly large body of water that stretched for miles and miles. It was as close to the open ocean as any whale could have ever hoped for, and it was perfect for the two rescued animals. While the journey had been long and grueling, both Little White and Little Grey were visibly excited to be at their destination. They could almost taste that open water. As they were carefully lowered into the water, a sense of joy and relief washed over them. The vastness of what seemed like an ocean stretched out before them, reminding them of the life they had once known. Unlike the tank in the aquarium at the Sea Life Center, the water in the sanctuary was icy cold. While this may well put off many people from going for a swim, beluga whales love it as they usually spend much of their lives in cold, arctic waters. As Little White and Little Grey felt that chilly, salty water start to wrap around their body, they started to vocalize and click in excitement, and as soon as they were free of the crane that was lowering them, the two siblings started to swim around playfully, thrashing and splashing, looking happier than they had ever been in the past ten years of captivity. The team just watched on, amazed. It had been a long journey to get them there, both legally and physically, but they had finally achieved their goal. Their amazing, worthy goal. Little White and Little Grey poked their heads back up out of the water and excitedly clicked and whistled at the crew that had transported them there. It was clear that they loved their new home and they finally felt free and happy. As the team watched on, there wasn't a dry eye in the house. It was clear that poor Little White and Little Grey had spent most of their lives in a sad and dark place, and to finally be somewhere where they could live like real whales once more was incredibly overwhelming. The two of them finally bobbed their heads back under the water and powered off into the waters of the sanctuary, swimming like they hadn't since they were calves, before they were captured. And at last, they were happy. At last, they were free. So now it's over to you. What did you think of this incredible story? How would you have reacted if you'd seen Little White and Little Grey being kept in captivity? Do you think sea life centers are good for the preservation of the whale species, or do all marine animals deserve to be in the oceans? As always, we love to hear from you, so be sure to leave your thoughts and opinions in the comments section down below.